This is a video tutorial explaining how to name uh, cyclic hydrocarbons, uh, cyclic alkane, alkene, and alkyl. So when I have a cycloalkane, uh, as the one shown here, the numbering, the priority of numbering goes for the uh, substitutions. So and on this one, I have uh, four substitutions, two ethyl and uh, two methyl groups. So always start numbering from a, car from a substituted carbon. And since I have ethyl and a methyl, I should give the lowest possible number to the E, not to the N. So it's going to be either one here or here. So let's do all the possible choices of numbering. If I go the numbering from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I will have substitutions on one, uh, on one and the three for the ethyl group and substitutions for the six and the eight. If I go with another number from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, the substitutions will be 1 and 3 for the ethyl group and then 5 and 7 for the methyl group. 1 and 3 are the same, here these are the same, but 5 and 7 are much better than 6 and 8. So I will discard the first way of numbering, which is the one of the blue color. And I will go with this one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. If you try other possible ways of numbering, you will find that this is always the best choice. So let's start num naming it. I have 1 and 3, di ethyl. Uh, I have two methyl groups on... Uh, 5 and 7 di methyl and this is a, a, nine, a cycle of 9 so cyclo no nine. I use the word cyclo because it is a cyclic one for the second one in naming uh, cycloalkenes the priority of course goes for the double bond so the double bond you always give it number 1 and I so this is one and two over here. So one and two. If I say, if I for example say one two, this is wrong. The double bond should always be the double or bond or the triple bond should all should always be between one and two. So here I have two choices. It's either one and two. And this takes number three, or I say one, two, three, four, five, and the substitution takes five in the carbon number five, which is of course not the best choice. So first we name the substitution. This is a substitution of one and two carbon. So this is the carbon over here. The carbon over here is bonded to carbon from this side, this side, and this side. And of course, there is one more hydrogen. So uh, this is an ethyl uh, substitution, an ethyl branch. It is on carbon number three. So uh, I will say three ethyl, one pentene. Uh, sorry, one cyclopentene. See, we always do this mistake. It's a cyclic uh, alkene, so I should say one cyclopentene. Now moving on here, as mentioned before, the numbering of the triple bond, the triple bond should always be between one and two. So it's one and two this way. If I say, uh, if I number it one and two, the substitutions of a fluorine will have uh, a higher number of uh, carbon, which is not favored. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. It's an octine, cyclooctine. So we start three 
three two substitutions so we mention the three twice di fluoro cyclo uh, it's one of course cyclo one cyclo um, uh, oct ein because it is an icon now it's the opposite way opposite way the name is given we are going to uh, draw the compound so first we start reading from the last part of the name it's an it's a heptane so it's a, a, a it's not a cycle of course it's an open chain made of seven carbon hept goes for seven so one two three four five six and seven we have an ethyl group on the fourth carbon so I have here an ethyl group ethyl group is made up of two carbons and we have a methyl group on the second carbon so this is the formula and last you will fill the rest with hydrogen every carbon should have four should make four bonds so this carbon has here one bond and it will bond to three hydrogens the next carbon is bonding to two other carbons so left with two more hydrogens here on the sides usually they take three hydrogen I cannot write here on the sides of my iPad this is H3 this one takes one H two one two two and this one takes three 6A dimethyl dekene. So it's a deke deck, so it's a 10 carbon. So let's put 10 carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. The double bond is on carbon number 4. So again, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's the double bond. Also on carbon number 6 and number 8, I have two substitutions of methyl group. So again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have a methyl over here, which is one carbon. 7, 8, and I have another methyl group. I complete the rest of carbons with hydrogens. The one in the middle always takes two carbon, two hydrogen. Now here on the double bond, uh, one hydrogen is left this is also it's like this now hexane six carbon so one two three four five six the ion the triple bond is on the third carbon so one two three this is the triple bond and I have on the second carbon a substitution of methyl group, which is this one. These two carbons over here cannot take any more hydrogens because they are uh, uh, fully bonded. Uh, this one, one more hydrogen, and this is this takes three hydrogens. Now, other examples on the next slide. So, other examples on this slide for cyclic. Uh, uh, hydrocarbons so we begin with this is a cyclohexane so no double or triple bond and it's a hexane it's a cycle of six carbon one two the six carbon cycle is like this so it's a bit uh, weird from here but with practice you will get used to it it's a cyclohexane and I have an ethyl on so any side of this cycle we will give it the number of one CH2 CH3 the next one it's a cyclohexene so it's the same cycle but I have a double bond of course the double bond should always take number one we start numbering from the double bond now it says that on the double bond I have an ethyl group Okay, let's say that this is the uh, double bond, number one. This is 
ethyl group two carbons connected to it and on the second one I have a methyl group thank you